Hi friends, Mr. Ben here, and today for Science Explorers, we decided to check out what's in the water. Okay, so the tests today that we did are to check for pH, or how acidic or alkaline a liquid is. We check for salinity, or how much salt you can find in the water. And we check the temperature, which is how fast the molecules in the water are actually moving. Okay, so here I have my three samples of water that I tested. Okay, so to test for pH, all right, we put a little bit of citric acid in there, so we knew that our water was going to have some kind of an indicator. All right, and then we use these things called indicator strips. Now you can see they're yellow right now, but there's this little grid here, and when we put these into the water, it will change color, and then we just match the color there to see how acidic or how alkaline that is. All right, so check that out. Put my strip in there. Okay, as you can see, it turned orange from its yellow, and now I can just check on my little key here, and it looks like it's really close to four. So, I can tell that this is acidic because it has gone down. A neutral pH is around seven. Now, the next thing that we test is the salt, the salinity, how much there is in there. And for that, you have to use a special device called a refractometer. So what happens with this is you put the water on this part right here, and you close it, Okay. Now, if the water has no salt in it, when you look through, all right, there's a little uh, there's a little line in here, all right. It's blue, and it'll show white to show you how much salt there is in there. So what we'll do is we'll take a little drop of my salt water, I'm gonna put that in here, just a little tiny bit. Now I close it gently, and I look through. Oh, and I can see that we've got a uh, ten. Yeah, it looks like about 10 out of 100 on our salinity scale there, all right? Now, the important thing is that when you're doing these kinds of experiments is you want to record your data. You want to record everything down so you know what happens. So, let's see, we had our pH. That was a 4, so I'm going to check that right there. And we have our 10 right there, so I'm going to put my line right across, across just like that. Then it'll tell me, all right? Now, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to check the temperature. So we have this fancy thermometer. There's lots of different kinds. So you just put that in there, and it will let you know. And ours doesn't change that much because we have room temperature uh, water here. So it's 64.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll write that down. 64.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And you got to remember the units. Um, so these ones don't have units, but we do have units on there because there's Celsius and there's Fahrenheit. So we want to make sure we know because there's a big difference between 64 degrees Fahrenheit and 64 degrees Celsius. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank you for joining us. If you would like to join us for real, or if you have any questions for Mr. Ben that you'd like me to answer on, uh, on Science Explorers, you can contact us at education at cmssny.org. We'd like to thank National Grid for sponsoring us. If you're interested in joining us, you can also check out our Facebook page and, um, and our website because if you want to show up to the museum, because we're opening starting next week, all the way Monday through Friday, uh, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, uh, just check Eventbrite and register with us. And until next time, friends.